this is probably, at least since I've been doing Zhang Enterprises, I consider this the most important video that I've done yet because there is a major, 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 have I said that enough? Pattern shift that is occurring right now. And that is a really big indicator, especially with all the problems in the banking system that we can't even see, but we will be seeing it. And I don't know when, but I don't think we have too much longer to go. It kind of depends. So let me talk about this pattern shift. Please Please make sure you give us a like um, while you're thinking about it. Leave us comments and make sure you ask lots of questions after this. And I don't care, you can ask me any question at all, but this is huge. So let's dive right in so you can see it because there is actually a major pattern shift that indicates the end of a 53 year old trend. And why is that 53 year old trend so important? Because it takes us all the way back to 1971 when we shifted from at least a quasi gold back currency into a pure debt based currency with the central banks controlling the debt and the interest rates. That is huge. Now, what are bonds? Okay, because this is gold's return in 50 years exceeds bonds. Now, of course, they're looking at it in yield and that is really important. But what is a bond? A bond is debt. Why do you care about that? Because that's how money is created in this system. How is it supported? The full faith and credit of the government. So let's translate that. As long as you trust them, you have faith. Well, you will continue to loan them money, extend them credit. And this is showing you that that whole piece, the government's ability to support the currency by creating more debt is gone. That's what this is showing you. That is huge. This is why I said, the most important video that I've done here at Zhang Enterprises yet, because you need to know it sooner than later. Now, from 1971, fiat money has been created from debt like I just showed you. A properly diversified portfolio, because all of those intangible assets are predicated on the value of this underlying currency and that is shifted. It's not something that's gonna, that's what I keep saying. I mean, you know, I've been talking about this for so many years and people say, well, Lynette, you know, you've been talking about it, talking about it, and nothing has happened. That's not true. It's just happening beneath the surface where you can't see what's happening until it's too late. All those issues that brought down the financial system in 2008, they were just papered over, which actually makes what's happening that much worse because there's that much more debt that we have to deal with. This is a debt crisis. Let me just keep going on. Properly diversified portfolio contains tangible assets to offset the decline in intangible assets. Like we just saw, well, what, in Argentina, in Venezuela, everywhere where they do those overnight resets, that has an impact on any of the assets, the intangible assets that you're holding. So we want to make sure that you are covered. That goes away. Okay. Not a problem for you. Physical gold and silver. This is sound money. It is so critical for you to have a sound money strategy and portfolio along with the other pieces that can ensure or assure that you can retain and maintain a reasonable standard of living food, water, energy, security, barterability, which for me is primarily silver, though anything, silver in any form, right? Food, water, energy, security, barterability, wealth preservation, community, and shelter. Get it done, get it done. That's what this is showing me. The safe haven of choice has become gold. 
Wow, isn't that interesting? Because guess what? That's been the safe haven of choice for thousands of years and why you see central banks accumulating it the most and the fastest level in history since they started tracking it. Here's another thing to prove that the shift had occurred. The bond gold return ratio breaks a decades long support line. How about going all the way back to the 70s again? Can you see this? Everything is full circle. I don't know why I'm basically the only one that talks about a currency life cycle, but everything has a life cycle. This is not rocket science. I do not look the same as my nine-year-old granddaughter looks. I don't look the same as my almost 11, I'll be next week, 11 years old, my grandson. I'm going to be 70. You're not looking at me and saying, hmm, I bet you're entering your teen years. Nor are you looking at them and going, boy, I bet you're going to be 70 years old soon. No, everything has a life cycle. If you can understand what what it looks like in each one of those parts of that life cycle, then you can determine what is the next most likely outcome. No doubt about it. Not one little teeny weeny doubt in my mind. We are at the end of this huge experiment. And let me tell you, when we come to an end of something that has gone on for a hundred years, it is violent. It is not a soft landing. That is garbage. And everything I've been showing you has been the breakdown in the banks beneath the surface that you can't see. There is crisis after crisis that is unfolding, but you don't know what the what that looks like. So, oh, okay, just more of the same. Ugh. No, 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 no. This is not more of the same. This is a huge key pattern shift. And when do you want to know about these shifts? You want to know about them ASAP. So even though, okay, so we've talked about this ad nauseum in the past, right? So typically the Fed raises interest rates, the spot gold contract drops because after all, gold does not pay interest. Gold doesn't have to pay interest. It is the safest darn thing that you can do. You hold it, you own it outright, it runs no counterparty risk. It protects you from inflation. And this is your war chest. This is going into a battle with a bazooka. This is going into battle and hey, guess what? Helping the other side. I don't want you to help the other side. I want you, I'm on your side. I want you to be on your own side by making sure that you have sound money. Because what we're looking, gold decouples from real yields, uh-huh, this is huge. All of these pattern shifts are around debt and sound money. What does that tell you? Who knows more about that than central banks? They know what they're doing. And what are they saying? We are in a structural bond bear market. Uh, wait, wait. We are in a structural bond bear market? A bear market is a negative market. Debt is create, our money is created from bonds. So that means if the bonds are in a structural bear market, guess what else is in a structural bear market? How are you holding your wealth? Are you holding it in the stock market? Do you have ETFs? Do you have, do you have mutual funds? Do you have a 401k? Do you have an IRA that's in mutual funds or annuities or any of that other stuff? Because remember, if bonds are in a structural bear market, negative market, that means this stuff is too. I couldn't care less about this stuff. Do we have to work for it? Sure. And then you convert it as quickly as you can into this. We can have a quiet and peaceful revolution. Just turn that garbage into sound money. That's it. Simple, easy peasy. Because no matter what bank you're talking about, this is from a, a, a new bank for international settlements report, the biz. The biz is the biggest, most important central bank in the world. So when I'm telling you about the qualities gold, 
where it's it is runs no counterparty risk. It is a proven inflation hedge. Gold held at home runs no political manipulation risk. And as a war chest, that all comes from the Bank for International Settlements. Those aren't my words. Those are their words. And what they're saying now is, we know from experience that things look sustainable until suddenly they no longer work. Their words, not mine. That is how markets work. And so the Bank for International Settlements, the most important central banker in the world because they are the central bank, central bank, is warning the world of a sovereign debt crisis. Not just a corporate bond problem, but what is sovereign? Sovereign is government, a government bond issue. What else do they say? Beware market's sudden wrath over debt. Beware, because the markets can overwhelm the central bank's ability to bail anything out and to create, oh, I wish that would happen to them, it will, and to create this at will and devalue everything, all the rest of the money that's already out there. But what happens to this? this becomes more valuable. That's why they have to manipulate the spot market because a rising gold price is an indication of a failing currency. And it really is that simple. And they had to create an alternative to this so that money could flow there instead of into physical. Don't be fooled. Whatever else you have, make sure you're properly diversified. You gotta do whatever is you feel most comfortable doing but for 6,000 years, this has been sound money. It's still sound money. Look at what they're doing. So I want you to look here though too, and make sure that you, you know, you can click on the link, you can click on the QR code, set a time. If you don't have your strategy in place, get it in place. I'll be doing more on that as we move forward. But public debt climbed to record highs around the world. This is a global issue. It's not just, oh, well, I can run to this currency, I can run to the euro, or I can run to the yen, or I can run to the BRICS currency, I can run, no. This is a global issue around the world and it will have to be resolved. All this debt is gonna have to be resolved before we can reset and move into the next currency. Basel officials, so this is the Basel, remember all those reforms? So this again is in the banking system. Basel officials warn that confidence could quickly crumble. And I've shown you so many things about confidence. This is a con game. Con game requires new money. And what I'm showing you here is that's over, right? They cannot inflate that away. Let me go back to it for just a second here, okay? Here you go, this is a decoupling. This is a major 53 year old pattern shift. And this is showing that what they did for 53 years is not working anymore. It's over, it's done. So that is a key tool that central bankers have in their arsenal that is gone, gone, gone. Do you get that? This isn't something that I'm waiting for. This is something that is already underway. Just like the issue in the FinTech area and how that spills over into the banks, which is what I'm talking about in another video that you're gonna wanna watch. What did we name that video, Adam? Do you remember? Uh, that one was the uh, break, uh, there was this, uh, <laughs> sorry, this, this is the synapse one, right? Well, the it's rules, one of the, the, the no, no, the one that we just uh, did that's going out on Thursday, oh, the, the stress, stress test, test. Yeah, the, stress the, test. the banking stress test. Yeah. But yes, you're right, because it is about synapse. Mm -hmm. That's where the crisis is, is started to unfold. But you need to understand how incestuously intertwined all of them are. So you wanna make sure and watch that video and all these other videos where Adam has the link down below to all of these videos that I'm showing you that the banking sector is breaking down. This is a huge indicator, what I'm showing you here. All of these pattern shifts, I don't wanna go through the whole thing again. Pattern shift, breakdown. 
pattern shift breakdown. Pattern shift breakdown. This is not rocket science. I am showing you that the tools that they had to keep this thing going are over, 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 over. I don't know when it's gonna become apparent to the world because right now we've got, I don't know, up to 10 million people who are locked out of their money. Can they open up those doors again? How many more people are gonna be locked out? Will you be locked out of your bank account when they need to stop a run? Because their living will stink. In other words, those big banks cannot be unwound you know, into a soft landing. It's just impossible. I don't care what they say. Blah, blah, blah. They can say anything, but look at their actions. They are accumulating gold hand over fist. Why? Because they want to retain their freedom. They want to retain their power. Same reason you need to be doing it. You've got to have a foundation of sound money, but you also need to come together in local community to ensure your security in food, water, energy, barterability, security, wealth preservation, community. That's how you're gonna be able to do it. We're just running out of time. Get this community piece done. I'll do my best to help you in any way that we can. We are working furiously on this. I don't know how much time we have. I don't. It could happen Tuesday morning at 8.35. Are you ready for that if that's when it happens? Because you won't be able to see it until it's too late to do anything about it, just like 2008. I talked, to, I talked to my family about it in July of 2007. And there was a major, major technical indicator where all, where the US dollar against its standard basket weighted of currencies dropped to all time lows. And I said, uh-oh, this is not good. That is a pattern shift. I'm feeling the same way now. Something very nasty is already unfolding. It is in the banking sector and the technicals are telling you we're at the end. So you definitely want to make sure that if you don't have a strategy in place, click that link, use that QR code, get your strategy done and executed. Make sure you are finding in your neighborhood people that, that create your food and take care of your water and energy and all of that. Create that local community and let's create this global community. Let's create this and, and just have a peaceful revolution. It's so simple, but we need to do it and we need to do it now. If not you, who? If not now, when? That's what I ask myself all the time. I'm committed to being here, that's why when I left ITM, immediately, I didn't even hesitate. I could have retired. I could have gone off and play and not have to work this hard. But I made a commitment to you. I work for you. That's who I work for. That's who I've always worked for. I have been groomed for this moment in time. I'm going to show you what's happening. I'm going to do my best to translate this financial noise and guide you through this so that I don't know what a concept. You come out the other side better than when you were going in. And in the meantime, you are sustaining a reasonable standard of living. This is critical. I cannot tell you enough about when patterns shift even if you don't understand what they mean, understand that things are changing and they're changing rapidly. So until next we meet, together we can do this. I know we can do this and I'm here for you. So just let me know how I can help. I love the questions. You know, whatever I can do, make sure that you give us a like, leave a comment, share, 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 make sure you subscribe and you know, thank you guys so much for your support. I will continue to show up and do the work. That's the guarantee that I give you. And until next we meet, please be safe out there. Bye-bye.